there's a difference in what people like. Some people like, see the one that's almost on the far uh, left that's plain and it's just, it comes up in more of an elegant curve and doesn't have a lot of knobs on it. And then there's the ones on the far right that I've done a lot of carving, they're stumpier, but people like different shapes and, and they, those haven't been this, but if you're careful, go over and pick up each one and you'll see, there'll be, you'll get to one and I hope, and you'll say, oh, this one feels good. And I try and make the knobs and everything and the cuts so that they fit in like three fingers and that, uh, that it's comfortable to, <laughs> to drink from them. But also, like the small ones that are kind of clunky, I, I mean, you can drink beer out of those or Irish coffee, something of that sort. Mm -hmm. So this is the stem. This is the first stem. I use a pound and a half to two pounds of clay on these. And these are fun to make. I mean, if I ever, if I ever just um, have a lot on my mind, which happens, um, but I want to throw or I want to make something, I'll make uh, candlesticks because they are just, they're fun, they're easy, um, and they're, uh, they're less tedious than some forms where you have to do a lot of thinking. So I can actually do something like almost meditate and make candlesticks and goblet stems are almost identical. To, in fact, I made a, sh a few short candle sticks among there. So, um, six hundred candle sticks, and they they really look like you were meditating. <laughs> <laughs> like I wasn't really totally well, and they are. I mean, they the help you around. kind of work out things too. They're fun to make. You can um, do other things in your mind. You don't have to like be totally present. So. Um, the bottom is probably a good four inches wide. I want to keep the bottom a good four inches wide. And so basically, I just kind of cone it up, just like you would cone up a piece of clay. And that's how I start it. Once I've got it centered, and then I just bring it up. I use one hand on top, one hand on the side. And when I get it, um, I want to make sure and not have this real sharp at the bottom. It's got some thickness to it, and I will take my clothespin and make it so that it's a good third of an inch or more. Everything with me is a third of an inch, so third of an inch thick. And then I want to bring this in. When I trim these, I leave them solid, but I trim. I, when I turn them over, I trim down in here so that this isn't solid when it's completed. Um, I do, and I have a chuck all set for today. So, so then I come up here, and I have my left hand holding it so it doesn't go off center. And I just come straight up like this. And then before I get it too high, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and make the little place where I'm going to attach the cup. And what I do is I concentrate on making this part so that I can just gently put a little cup, attach the cup right in here. So I take my rib and I make that nice and smooth. And that's the part, when I put those together, you'll see I just scratch all of that in and that's pretty much finished. And now I get to play. I get to say, do I want a ring here, maybe one here, and these will all most likely be carved, and then, and they remind me of uh, stairway, <laughs> stairways, yeah, spindles, yeah. And then here, I don't want to leave all this thickness, even though I can trim it away. But now, if I take my hands and just and have to do it by feel, kind of squeeze it in a little bit. So then, it's pretty much finished. And afterwards is when I get to play and decide what gets 
um, carved away and what doesn't. And the ribs are just so nice to make nice little um, places. <laughs> that nice little curve. Does that have a name? <laughs> we should name this name this nice little curve. It probably does have a little curve. It's just so pleasing to get a nice curve there. It's um, almost a, a bell shape. It is almost. A, it. So then I do the same thing here. Cut under it twice. And then I don't worry about my fingerprints because I'm going to carve there. So, and I do, try very hard when people want goblets, they want me to make goblets, I try very hard not to make them the same. I say, oh, I don't make, I don't make, <laughs> because it would be so, that would take away the fun to say, oh, I've got to make six knobs in the middle, I have to carve them a certain way, they have to be a certain, um, it's more fun to have a set that's different. much less tedious on the potter. Plus people know which goblet is theirs. That's, oh, see, it does away with having to have That's the right. tags. That's true. So the same thing here. Huh? If you can remember. Oh. If you can remember. Yeah. <laughs> it depends. They yeah. all look alike. But Polly, you make such nice wine coolers. You know, you can make goblets yeah, and wine so cooler. Right yeah. So then I, I did the same thing on the bottom of this one, and that is just take my clothespin. pin. You can say anything. What's your name, bud? You could also make another business out of what you're doing. I could, couldn't I? I saw some juicers there. I took several pictures of juicers that were for hand juicing like lemons and oranges, lemons I guess. Yeah. And they came up like this and then they came out here and they had all these carvings and I'm like, oh, I should buy one of those. Uh, I was if only it had a smooth top. Um, yeah, exactly. Okay. So little Barbara, cut that part. <laughs> I thought you'd miss me. Yeah. Uh, they were blue and white. They're in the same places each year? Oh, they are. Oh, my. Oh. I know which ones to run to next year. And actually, you know, even though when I make them, sometimes I'll lose one, <clears throat> it's, not a, it's not a real big deal I, for some reason for me if I lose one of these. Um, I don't know why. It doesn't, like if I in making a vegetable or bowl or something and I've got it almost finished and it um, slumps or something, I'm, I'm much more disappointed than if I get to here and then it twists. And they will twist. You have to be very careful. Your hands have to, when I have my hand on it, it's just letting it slide. If you have any pull or you grip too tightly, it will just twist right off. So, switch them around back and forth to say how does that one look, how does this one look. And so I mean they can be like this one that's more tulipy shaped could maybe look better on this one. Do you see the difference? I mean there's a real uh -huh. difference between here yeah. where it's more rustic looking and then here where it's it follows the shape up. So and I have an extra one of these. So stem. I don't know. Anybody want to change anything? <laughs>